Hello, welcome, my name's Richard from Silent Peak and welcome to this video. Now today we're gonna to discuss Luminar Neo. Specifically, how much memory do you need to run Luminar Neo well? We're gonna have a little look at eight gig configs, 16 gig and 32 gigs, and we'll see which is best. So with eight gig, we get off to a rough start. Now the moment I boot up Windows, I look at my task manager and I see I'm already using seven of eight gig. This means that Luminar Neo is left with just one gig to play with. Now, this isn't to say that Luminar Neo won't work. In fact, it will. But what's gonna happen is that as Luminar Neo drains away that one gig, your CPU will become more reliant on your persistent storage, which is to say your hard disk or SSD, and will have to constantly trade information from RAM, your persistent storage, thus adding a great deal of latency and specifically a huge, huge performance drop. For this reason, I do not recommend that you try Luminar Neo with just eight gig. Now moving up to 16 gigs changes an awful lot. Now sitting idle, Luminar Neo consumed 2.5 gig, taking our rough total Windows 11 plus Luminar Neo to about nine and a half gig. So, so far, so good. As we start to do the edit, that number moves up to about 4.5 gig. And as we start to apply more advanced features, such as SuperSharp, we will move up to seven gig and up to 10 gig when we use SuperSharp, a full edit and dust spot removal all in conjunction with each other. Now that 10 gig was a peak shortly after it fell to about 7.5, but you can kind of see that we are already clawing at that 16 gig limit. In case you're wondering, the generative AI features of Luminar Neo are quite thirsty, each of them peaking at around about 7.5 gig of utilization. For this reason, I actually consider 16 gig sort of sweet spot. You're not having to spend too much money and really it is good enough for Luminar Neo. But what about 32 gig? Now the curious thing with using 32 gig is that I was getting much faster performance in certain areas of the system. Notably, I was batch processing my sample of 20 images around about 10 seconds faster. And likewise, preloading the presets was also faster on the 32 gig variant. Now, in either case, I was actually well under the 16 gig limit. And the reason for this performance increase is that I was using two RAM sticks instead of one two 16 gigs instead of just one 16 gig. In terms of capacity, I was fine, but that two channel advantage enabling my CPU to pull from two RAM sticks simultaneously massively decreased latency and improved system performance. Thus, to conclude this little video, how much RAM do you need to run Luminar Neo well? Well, the answer is 16 gigs, but specifically, I would recommend two 8 gig channels of RAM. That way, you get enough memory to run Luminar Neo well, but you also get the performance advantage inherent with using a two channel setup, meaning that your CPU can draw on two RAM sticks simultaneously instead of just waiting for one. Now, if you've got your own PC and you're not quite sure what to make of all of this, you can try Luminar Neo free, and there's a link in the description before. If you like this kind of content, if you'd like to see more, please support me, subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment, let me know what else you'd like to see. Anyway, have a great day. My name's Richard from Silent Peak. Bye-bye.